What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, real quick before we get this video started, I just wanna throw it out there. I do not want any of my subscribers or anyone who supports my channel, if you guys like watching me at all, please, I beg of you guys, do not stoop to the level of throwing out negative YouTube comments to anyone else. Don't go and talk crap to people. Um, just stay positive, hold yourself to a higher standard. That's not how I wanna see uh, my supporters or people who watch my channel. I just do not wanna see any name calling. And that's not what we do. We don't wanna call people a clown. Like I'm seeing some very negative comments from this Decline Now group. And guys, just I beg of you, please do not stoop to that level. You do not see successful people and happy people and people who are doing well in life leaving negative YouTube comments and we wanna hold ourselves to a higher standard. That being said, let's get this Daily Dash started. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Daily Dash. Today's the second video we're doing today. Gotta get back ahead, back on schedule. Today, we're gonna be dashing as a decline now person. You know, not trolling you guys, not like saying anything negative. I'm literally going to take your tips and everything that you guys say. So we're gonna apply the $2 a mile rule and we're going to not take anything that is less than $7 and we're gonna see how much money we can make. It is prime time now in Las Vegas. It's 11.30, so no better time to be dashing than as soon as the lunch lunch shift begins. So we're gonna kinda of just see how much we can make. Um, and that's all we're gonna do, you know? Not gonna talk any crap about anyone. You know what's funny is, if you go back and you watch any of my videos, I always tell you that I only take two dollar a mile orders because i drive a big gas guzzler that does not get the best miles or i only take orders that are more than seven dollars the only time i will take an order that is less than seven dollars is if it's like only like one mile or if it's completely on my way of where i'm going already and i'm just it's just like let's say i'm going to the gym and it's on the way of where i'm going and i'm gonna take it so that's always been my rules. If you guys go back and you watch any of my DoorDash cheat codes videos, that's what I say in every single video. The only difference between me and this Decline Now group is that they think that I'm evil for taking orders that are less than $7. Basically, I have gotten so many rude comments in the last like, I don't know, 24 hours, but I just got a shout out to Decline Now. You guys are making my channel do absolutely amazing. My, uh, I've got received over an extra 2,000 views than I typically do in 24 hours. I ain't complaining at all. Thank you for helping me pay my bills. Um, I don't care if they're dislike comments. You, I hope you guys realize, if you guys dislike the videos, but yet you still watch the entire video, or even if you just click on the video, it doesn't even matter. You're helping my channel out, so whatever you wanna do, you know? Um, so we're driving over to the outlet mall because even if we're following all of Decline Now rules and stuff, I'm still going to do and follow my own principles of dash in the correct area, drive over to a, a very popular area where there's going to be restaurants and stuff. I'm just going to follow the same. I'm just going to only take the $7 a mile or $7 orders. And that's what they say and that means that they have to be $2 a mile as well. So, just following those rules. Anyways, if you guys are new, welcome to the Daily Dash. This is where we do one or two or a couple orders a day and I just kind of walk you guys through and give you guys my best tips and advice. I'm not saying I'm a master at door dashing, not saying what I say is correct. I'm just going to give you guys my best tips and advice that I can and help you guys out and help you guys make more money. The whole goal of my channel is to help everyone make money, and not just as a DoorDash driver, but as an entrepreneur or business person in all aspects and help you guys just maximize the, your performance in life. Just do, make everything as easy as you possibly can and I'm just going to kind of give you guys my best tips. So with that being said, um, one of the, one of, I was watching a video 
by Patrick Bet David. If you guys don't know who that is, that's probably my favorite YouTuber right now. He runs the Valuetainment channel. It is by far the best entrepreneur-based uh, YouTube channel. Uh, if you guys aren't watching him, like you guys should definitely go check out Patrick Bet David. That guy's an absolute genius. So he's talking about his. Uh, so let's say if we were chess players, it, it, as a business person. You gotta kinda think of everything as chess, you know? So, a beginner chess player knows his next move. A, someone who's better knows their next three moves. Like a grandmaster chess player, like someone who's a grandmaster, knows like their next 15 moves, okay? So, the more moves you are ahead, the more, the better you're going to perform in business, in career. So you really gotta lay out your next moves, you know? At least your next five moves. Like, if you, are getting out here and every single day your only move that you know to make is go out and door dash guys you're gonna fall behind you got to maximize your time you got to utilize every single hour and every single minute of the day which is why that's that's the principles that I'm always trying to give to you guys and utilize your time as best as possible while I'm sitting around not only am I doing door dash and waiting for orders talking to you guys I'm helping my YouTube channel uh, I pay most of my bills with my YouTube channel now and these are things that I've been doing for the last few years and now I just by doing DoorDash it's helped my footwear company grow quite significantly um, all right we got a fire truck coming got a pull over um, yeah so if it wasn't for DoorDash I wouldn't be able to have grown my business to where it is now and so, I mean, just huge thank you for everyone who has bought our shoes. If you guys haven't yet, please go check out offaxisacrobatics.com. That's my footwear company. Use the discount code offaxistanner. We'll get you 30% off. Get you a sweet pair of ninja shoes. So, that being said, we're pulling up to the outlet mall in about two minutes. I'm gonna go over all the orders that we get in this dash. We're gonna dash for about two hours. We just got one literally right now from LNL. Hawaiian barbecue. It is six dollars for five miles. Um, as much as I would uh, like to take that order because it's very convenient on the path of where I'm going, I'm not going to take it. So we are going to decline this order and uh, hopefully the next person declines it, I guess. I guess that's how this is supposed to work. So yeah, even though like orders are some, like I think that there should be a gray area with everything. I think you should consider like, oh, if I'm already going here and this order makes perfectly good sense to me, like for example, in the last daily dash, I took an order that was uh, $8 for seven miles, but I took it, normally I wouldn't take it, but I took it because it literally went exactly from my gym to my home which was six miles. I was already gonna drive that six miles, so in my head, I'm only adding a mile onto my path because it just went barely a mile past where I needed to go anyways. So that's as convenient as it gets. But, again, we're doing decline now stuff today. So, I'll be right back. I'll let you guys know when we get an order. Oh, we got another one. $7 for 10 miles. Gonna decline it. A lot of people have been asking me to do a delivery video on the strip. I think I'll do that soon. I just, that's gonna be a tough one for me to do. It is, a, man, we're getting a lot of orders though. So far, I didn't show you guys the first order, but it was pretty crappy, it was a $3 order. But so far we've been dashing for about seven minutes and we've already gotten three orders, so who knows. My only thing that I don't agree with this is on is like, what if you're sitting there in a parking lot dashing for two hours? Let me know what you guys would do in the comments down below. So, um, let's say you're sitting here for two hours and you're waiting for an order. Nothing comes in, okay? You finally get an order and it is $6 for four miles. Are you gonna take it and or are you gonna just accept the fact that you're not gonna make any money today? We got Mr. Beast Burger. 11 miles for $9.75. We are going to decline that one because it does not meet the decline now standards. So, all right, well, anyways, we're pulling up to the outlet mall right now. Pulling up to five guys. I always, um, I always suggest to everyone, 
if you're a door dasher drive over to where the nearest like mall is or parking center where there's a ton of different restaurants because the closer you are to the restaurant the more likely you're going to be to get an order see look at all these orders we're getting all these we're declining all of them it's gonna make my acceptance rate amazing it's gonna I think we're probably gonna be at like a 10% acceptance rate nine dollars 75 cents for 11 miles not going to take it and also not only is it a bad order but it also takes me out of my dashing zone so that's another thing that you guys want to consider um, you do not want to take orders that take you out of your dashing zone because if you go out of your dashing zone that means you got to drive back to the dashing zone and eight dollars for two miles boom we're gonna take that one it's from IHOP and it delivers to apartment complex, or no, that's a hotel. That sucks, okay. But $8 for two miles, we are going to drive on over there. It's gonna be ready in 10 minutes. So, be right back. Got him. All right, starting off the dash pretty strong. So we got, we've been dashing for about 15 minutes or so, and we got an order. $8 for two miles. Starting off pretty good, but you know, it is lunchtime. And I expect to make decent money at lunchtime. So if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my other dashes, I've done like a lot of what I like to call power hour, where I just dash for one hour to see how much money we can make. We are going to do, we're gonna go until one o'clock today. So I'm gonna do about an hour and a half and see how much money we can make. Then we can kind of compare it to the last two videos. So. The first one, I just did all of my best tips, and uh, we made, I believe it was like 20, 22 or 24 dollars in an hour. Uh, the next day, we did an accept everything order, or accept everything video, where I literally just accepted every single order that came in. And if you guys didn't watch that one, that one was kind of a nightmare. I took an order that was $6.50 for 11 miles. And that pretty much screwed up the entire day because <laughs> that took a long time to do. Uh, we didn't make very good money that day. Um, I think it was like $18 for an hour and a half. If you guys I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, so that kind of... Just, I was just kind of showing you guys the differences between when we're strategic on which orders we take and whether we are uh, just accepting everything because I mean no one wants to be a top dasher except for the top dashers they probably want to be a top dasher I don't know I've always said that you need to be strategic on any of your moves you take but if there's an order that's convenient for you I'm not opposed I think you should take it but today we're following the rules of the decline now movement and what we're gonna do is just only accept two dollar mile or seven dollars and up you know or I think they have to apply for both but let's see right now we got about another mile to drive the only problem is the only problem for this order is it kind of takes me away from the restaurants a little bit so I actually have to drive those two miles back anyways so it's more like it's actually like eight dollars for four miles kind of anyways all right be right back all right one order down only been dashing for about 20 minutes now so it's a little bit less than 20 minutes to be honest it's 11 48 so we still got about an hour and 10 minutes left that I'm going to dash. I usually don't dash after one o'clock because that's kind of when the orders like chill out and they don't really come in as much. But now we've already done one order. So $8 in the first 20 minutes. So far, so good. We're on track to make $24 in an hour if we keep up the pace. Um, also, but again, you know, we all know DoorDash is not as consistent all the time, you know? Some, that's why I'm a big believer in take opportunities. When you get them, if they make sense for you, do them, you know? Don't want to turn down a good opportunity if it's convenient and on your way for the day of whatever you're doing or something. 
you should probably take it because you don't know when you're going to get a next, the next good opportunity. Um, anyways, we're about a mile, probably about a mile and a half back from the outlet mall, and that's usually where I get all the orders. So be right back. All right, just a quick update. We got seven dollars twenty-five cents for six point five miles from Chick Fil A. Gonna decline that one. We got an order from Buffalo Wild Wings. Six dollars, four point five miles. We are going to decline it because we are not taking those orders today. All right, we got a crazy pita rotisserie order. Seven dollars for two point seven miles. So we are going to take this one because it is more than two dollars a mile, and it is seven dollars. So taking this order real quick. Be right back. All right, uh, just throwing this out there real quick. We got an order, Capriotti's, an additional $4.60 for three miles. So obviously we're not gonna take that one. Just throw it out there. All right, got the order on the way now. It's uh, been 45 minutes in the dash. So we got about 45 minutes left or so. Hopefully this order doesn't take too long. Um, we're only driving about like three miles or so. so. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, just dropped off the order. Uh, then we got another order, 10 miles for $7.75. Obviously, we're gonna decline that one. And we're gonna head back over to the outlet mall because we're slightly, just barely slightly outside of our dashing zone. But probably wanna be over by the outlet mall. It's the best spot to go to. Be right back. Just quick update, we're back at the outlet mall, pulling in the parking lot. Got an order for $5.25 for 6.8 miles. Delivers right next to my house, but we are not gonna take that because we're not doing that right now. Although we are playing it a little close. It's almost one o'clock, which means I kind of, uh, typically, if I was to be doing my own dashing like I normally do, right now is the time where I would get a little, uh, Let's say I would lower my standards a little bit and I would probably try to take something that delivers right by my house. So we got about 15 minutes left in the dash. Uh, a little bit more than 15 minutes. Uh, then we got, would you look at that? We got the exact same order that popped up, but it is still $5.25 for 6.2 miles kind of strange maybe it's not the same exact order maybe it's just a, almost the exact same order and I was just confusing it because I don't think they would give you the same order over and over um, anyway so in the last day I've been called a corporate shill about about a hundred times in the comments and I was a little confused I was like what really is the definition of a corporate shill uh, one more order coming in we got Chicago six wings 8.9 miles for four dollars fifty cents horrible order um, so let's look up the definition of corporate shill corporate shill okay so a shill is a plant or a stooge a person who is publicly helps or gives credibility to a person or organization without disclosing that they have a close relationship of the person or organization. Uh, shills may be employed by salespeople people, or professional marketing teams. So I guess what you guys are trying to say is that I work for DoorDash. It's a little strange. I don't think that someone who works for DoorDash would make a video called DoorDash fired me. DoorDash is stealing your tips. I'm fighting DoorDash. I've made plenty of videos that say bad or negative things about DoorDash. Although I've also made many positive videos that say things about DoorDash. If you guys think that I work for DoorDash, you're just a little silly. Um, I don't really... Is that even a diss when you're saying something that's so completely untrue? I'm just not... I don't know. I've also been called a clown about a hundred times. You can call me a clown, that's fine. I do perform as a circus acrobat, so technically I'm, you know, I am a professional clown. If you guys want to actually get technical, 
clown is someone who acts in a comedic way on stage. That is something that I am actually a professional at, if you guys don't know. I've been technically a professional clown at probably about 10 times. I've made pretty damn good money on it, so yeah, you can call me a clown all you want. In my eyes, that's pretty good, you know? Whatever. Corporate shill, huh? That's funny, though. Anyways, all right, we got, what? Closing in on about 13 minutes left in the dash. I will get back to you if we get any more orders. Uh, hopefully, we get one that takes me back towards my house, but unfortunately, today we are a decline now driver, so I'm not gonna take the orders that would take me back to my house, even though I would take like a five or six dollar order, typically, that would take me back to my house. And uh, just because like, you know, anything on top of that is gonna be making me more, like I, I wanna get a third order. That's my goal. If we can get three orders in an hour and a half, that's usually pretty good, and it, well, at least cross $20, but all right, still waiting for an order. Okay, it's been about 13 minutes since the last time I filmed a clip. Have not gotten any other orders. Uh, it's one, or, or it's 12.59 right now, so I would be calling the dash in a minute, but I really want to get this third order, so I'm going to sit here for a little bit longer, because the dash technically goes till 2. I just don't like to dash till 2, because usually after 1 o'clock, we don't get many orders. So, I'm going to just uh, wait for another order to come in. This is, uh, not saying this is a bad strategy, but this is why one of those orders that I just declined that took me back towards my house probably would have been convenient or good for me to take, because then I would have made a little bit more money. But, uh, all right, it's uh, almost one o'clock. Uh, just saying, it's 1.13. We just got an order for McDonald's, which is $6 for 1.9 miles. But it is not $7, so we're not gonna take it. But it is now 1.13 and I am not gonna continue to sit here anymore because I feel like we're not gonna get any more orders. So we are going to wrap up today's video right here. So I'm just gonna kind of, I'll put in a screenshot so you guys can see right here. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish I took one of those other orders even though they were less than $7. Now I am not gonna be getting any more orders today, so whatever all right well that's why i do this stuff for the contents so you guys can see the different types of delivery driving st strategies whether you're a decline now person my only problem with that is like you're really limiting yourself to only taking the good orders and it's like you know sometimes you might want to take a bad order if it's convenient like one of those chick-fil-a orders that was driving me back on my way home it would have been nice to take at least one more order but instead I sat here for the last, what, 30 minutes or so, not getting any orders, so it is what it is. Um, not Again, I'm not saying this decline now stuff, not saying it's a bad thing, you know, every dash is gonna be different, but there's no way anyone can promise you that if you take these certain strategies, you're going to make a significant amount more money. Like I've said many times before, Door dashing is literally strategic gambling. You're taking whatever orders come in that are best for you to take at that time. And my personal best strategy is to do casual dashing and take whatever orders are convenient on my path that I'm already driving that day. So that way I don't have to go out of my way at all. I really don't, like I like to do $2 a mile and uh, over $7, but I will compromise those uh, rules if it's on my way. So anyways, that being said, thank you guys for watching, viewing, and if you guys haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel and also like this video if you enjoy the content at all. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.